करने का ना सच लेने Good morning to all my friends at home. How are you feeling in this beautiful morning? We are going to start fun with English. So I have two friends with me now. Kemi and Parami. Good morning children. Good morning, Good morning teacher. teacher. Do you like to play games? Yes. yes, of course. So we are going to play a game today. Teacher, what is the name of the game? It's a word game named as word snake. Okay? What's the teacher? name of our game today? Word snake. Word snake. Excuse me, teacher. Yes. How do we do this game? Okay, I'll tell you. Okay. Now eyes on the whiteboard. Please look at the board. Word snake. Okay. So we are going to build up a long snake with words today. You also can join with us and play this game with your friends at home. Okay. Yes. Uh, Pardon me. Can you tell a word? Any word you like? Uh, how about table? Table. I'm writing that on the board. Okay, table. So, what's the end letter of this word? E. E, yes. Now, Kemi has to tell me another word starting with E. The end letter of the first word. Elbow. Elbow, very good. So, we are going to build the snake now. Okay. We can tell this game. As the end letter game, as well. Okay. 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 Now, Parami, you can continue. Watch. Watch. Very good. Watch. And word starting with H. Kemi. Hat. Hat. Very good. Yes. Next one, Parami. Uh, tree. Tree. Yes. Good tree. Now we have a little bit long snake, isn't that so? Yes. yes. You? Another word? Egg. Egg. Yes. We are going to end this. So, yes, Parami, you can come to the board and you can end this. Okay, come. Okay. Yes. Write a word start with G. Grass. Very good. So, she has done it correctly. Very good. Okay. So, here, now look here. We have built up a long snake with words. So, how do we call this game? Word snake. Word snake. You also can join with us and play this game with your friends. Okay. Yes. Now, let's go to our lesson today. Okay. okay. Yes. First, everyone, look at the board now. I'm going to write two sentences. Okay, I'm going to write two sentences. Like this. First one. Where do you live? Where do you live? Next one. Okay. She is a pretty girl. She is a pretty girl. Now, Parami and Kemi, can you tell me, are these sentences correct grammatically? Uh, teacher, teacher, I think it has a little, I think it has something missing. Yes, they are grammatically correct, but there's something missing. So, shall we take the first one? Where do you live? So, what's missing there? A, a question, question mark. mark. Very good. Question mark is missing there. So, now I'm going to write the question mark, okay? Like this with another color pen. Question mark. Okay. And when you take the second one, she is a pretty girl. What's missing there? A yes? full stop. A full stop. Full stop. Very good. Now I'm going to put the full stop like this. So now are these sentences correct? Yes. yes. How do we call these types of marks? Punctuation, Punctuation marks. Very good. We call them as punctuation marks okay so today our lesson is punctuation marks what are the punctuation marks you know yes commas brackets, commas, brackets yes what are the other punctuation marks you know yes 
inverted commas, exclamation mark. Those are also punctuation marks, isn't that so? Yes. Yes. So, now today we are going to learn only two punctuation marks. They are first one question mark, question mark, and the second full one stop. full stop. Yes, very good. Full stop. Yes. First, shall we talk about question mark? Okay? Okay. Yes. When do you use question marks actually? When you are asking a Where? question. Yes. Now I am going to write an example like this. What is your name? What is your name? Yes. So, where, where should you use the question mark? At, At the, the end. end of the At sentence. the end, yes. Very good. Like this. Isn't that so? Yes. Yes. So, we write question mark at the end, end of, of the, the sentence. sentence or a question. Okay? Yes. When do we use full stop? To complete a sentence? Yes. To complete a sentence or at the end of a sentence. Okay? So, can you tell me a sentence, Kemi? I have a pet. Yes, I have a pet. Now, I'm going to write that like this. I have a pet. Okay. So, where should we keep the full stop? At the end. At the end. Very good. Here. Okay. At the end of an abbreviation also, that means short forms, you can use full stop. Okay. As an example, like this. He is Mr. Silva. He is Mr. Silva. Okay. At the end of this abbreviation, you can use what? Full, Full stop. stop. Okay. Understood, Kim Parami? Yes. Yes. Okay. So, here, yes, the other instance that we use full stop is you can use full stop as a decimal point, okay, as a decimal point. So now I'm going to give you an example for that, like this, okay. We went to school at 7.30, 7.30 a.m. Here, you use the full stop as a decimal point. Okay, in telling time. Isn't that so? Yes. Yes, okay. So, these are the instances that we use the question mark and the full, full stop. stop. Okay. Now, shall we do some activities? Yes. Yes. Okay. Now, take your papers and you have to write these sentences that I am writing on the black whiteboard. And then, you have to insert question mark and full stop where necessary. Okay. 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 Yes. Those who are watching us from home also can join with us and do these activities. Okay. Yes. First one, I'm writing like this. Okay. It is 10 p.m. now. It is 10 p.m. now. Please insert question mark and Full stop where necessary. Okay. Second one. What is your hobby? What is your hobby? Okay. Third one. We like to play. We like to play. Cricket. Last one. Do you have a pet? Do you have a pet? Yes. These are the four sentences. Okay. So now you have to write down these sentences and insert question mark and full stop where necessary okay i think those who are watching us from home you also have finished doing this activity so shall we look at the answers now 
Yes. Uh, Kirmi, can you show me uh, where should we use the punctuation marks in the first sentence? Okay, teacher. Okay, come to the board and show me. Yes, very good. So here, at the end of this sentence, okay, it is 10 p.m. now. So the sentence has ended and you have to put the, you have to keep the what? Full, Full stop. stop. Very good. Now, shall we go to the second one? Yes. What is your hobby? Yes. Can you tell me, Parami, what should we keep there? Question mark. Yes. As this is a question, we have to keep what? Question mark at the end like this. Isn't that so? Yes. Yes. So, in the third one, we like to play cricket. So, yes. A what should you stop. use? A full stop. Very good. At the end of this sentence, you have to keep the full stop. Okay. Last one. It's also another question. Do you have a pet? So, what should you use there? A question mark. Question mark. Very good. As this is a question, you have to put the question mark at the end. Okay. Yes. Today, we learned what? Punctuation marks. What are two punctuation marks that we learned today? Question mark and, and full, full stop. stop. Yes, question mark and full stop. So, those who are watching us from home, you also can practice more. Okay, practice more activities related to these punctuation marks. So, now we are going to wind up our lesson. Yes, thank you Kemi and Parami for joining me with this lesson. Thank you, teacher, for teaching us this wonderful lesson. Yes, you are welcome. So, in the next week also, we are coming with another interesting lesson. Until then, bye. Bye. bye.